Welcome back to another Daily Recap. It's Tuesday, Election Day, November 5, 2024, 747 a.m. Eastern. This will probably be the shortest recap video I make because here's the levels and I have no game plan. I'm not going to trade today. They could go anywhere. I'm not going to risk anything. We'll come back after the closing bell and analyze whatever happened. Here are the levels. They should act as support and resistance under normal market conditions, but we might not have normal market conditions today. In any case, I'll catch you on the other side. It's the next morning. You'll notice it's November 6, 724 a.m. So I had I was probably five minutes away from making this video last night. I had notes and I had everything ready to go, just to recap everything when some friends came by around dinner time or so, and you know, bearing some gifts of the fermented kind. It ended up kind of being a watch the election results kind of party. And maybe midnight after midnight or so, we kind of stumbled into bed finally. So I'm making this video the next morning. Of course, now I know in the pre-market, futures pushed price quite a bit. I mean, they're way up there now. But I'm just going to look at the notes that I had around 8 o'clock p.m. last night. So here's what I had. So they took off yesterday morning right out of the gate. And this kind of market behavior is the reason that I chose to sit on the sidelines yesterday. Actually, I wasn't even on the sidelines because that would imply I was watching it was difficult for me to do it, but I restrained myself from even looking at the SPY and the E-minis all day. I didn't look at the news, just uh, kind of blissfully ignorant all day long. At one point, I was while I was eating lunch, I pulled up the spiders on my phone, took a look at the chart, and saw that the bulls were having a pretty good day at that point. But anyway, how would you have traded these levels? Uh, they hit two, of course, uh, if you wanted to put money at risk. Well, I'll tell you how, according to the rules that I follow at least. First, you would have not entered a trade right here at 571.18 when the SPY hit this level. That is because we want to wait until 15 minutes after the opening bell before starting to look for opportunities. So, in the Eastern Time Zone, the close of the 9.45 a.m. candle, which is down here, is when we start looking at where price is. And at this point, they're in between these two levels, so they could either go up or go down. So at that point, we're going to adjust the levels down or toward price 5 cents. So 5.72. 77 is what this level is, and this is going to come up to 571.23. Either you're going to trigger an, a buy order down here if SPY hits 571.23, or you're going to trigger a sell order if they hit 572.77. And this is, of course, in the E-minis. So would you have sold the first time they got up here and actually hit this level? Before the spiders hit this level up here, uh, the market very helpfully provided a clue, and that clue was when price got within 10 cents of the level, the operating level, right here, and then quickly pulled back at least 40 cents, which is the equivalent of four points in the E-minis. So the market is basically telling you that a base hit just happened right here. A base hit, of course, is four ES points, and because we don't trade a level more than one time on the same side per the rules, we're not going to enter a short trade here. Like the, the chance of it working has been diminished because the market told you the reaction was a little lower. Based on my rules, this would not have been a short trade. And as it turns out, of course, the bulls had the ball all day. And they never came back to revisit this level, which is a pretty good sign that the bulls are definitely in control. And you might want to ask yourself, well, when you see this kind of thing happening, why wouldn't you just jump on board on the long side and ride this thing up if the market's telling you that there's not going to be a reaction? And you certainly could have if you were paying attention to other things at the time. Like I said, I really wasn't. So I'm not sure what was going on at the time, and I really still don't. I'm just going to let the dust settle. Of course, they continue to climb, and I don't know, E-minis could be hitting 6,000. I'm not going to make any predictions. I just kind of took a quick look this morning because uh, of the election results and whatever else. The market seems to like it. So anyway, no official trades, and you know, if you'll just bear with me, this is what I plan to do for the rest of the week, most likely, which is to identify the levels in the morning per usual. I'll run the numbers after I finish this little post-market video here, and then come back to the chart at the end of the day to analyze what could have happened if the levels were traded per the rules and do all this without really paying much attention to anything else. Uh, there, hopefully there's going to be some learning opportunities. But the takeaway here is if we're looking for a counter trend play like I no normally do for bounces at important areas, it didn't happen here because of a clue. It's one of the reasons I have this rule, this near miss rule here. And then can't say for sure, wasn't paying attention, wasn't looking at things at the time, but there could have been reasons once they got, we got some closes above this area where you could have got on the long side but I didn't do any of this. No trades for me today. No official trades. And speaking of the rules, here is the playing by the rules log. Just the notes of the two levels that were hit, but not triggered for the reasons I just explained. So no trades. And you can see how that affects the averages and totals. And then I just didn't take any trades at all. But there's the two levels. 
So we'll keep this up and I'm going to jump in and do the numbers for today, which is Wednesday. Find some levels, but things are going to get kind of skewed because of what they did overnight. But in any case, that's a wrap for this video. I'm not sure if it was very helpful, but to keep these daily recaps consistent, I've got to do them every day. So thanks for watching. I'll be back shortly with new levels for Wednesday and we'll send them out. Do this all over again. And most likely, again, no trades for me today or tomorrow. See you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.